okay, I'm gonna try to teach you guys how to crochet. First off, I want to dedicate this video to my lovely cousin Erica, aka Dear Monet, on Instagram, and my favorite roommate that I ever had in college, Shekinah. Okay, so the first step to start in a crochet, you want to get a slip knot. So you want your thread to, you want your yarn to be like this. It is so loud outside. So you want your thread to look like this. And you wrap it around your finger and then pull your finger through. Mine's fat, so it gets stuck. And let me show you closer. And then you pull it through like this. This is how you get your slip knot right here. I did mine extremely tiny, but that's okay though. You could this is why they call it a slip knot. If you can't do this, it's not a slip knot. So what you want to do is loop your loop it and then pull the string through the center. It may take a few tries, but it shouldn't. But if it does, it's okay. We're all learning here. So you put after you get your slip knot. You put your crochet needle in there and tighten it just a little bit. You don't want to do it too tight because you want to be able to pull this thread through this loop here. The slip knot you made. You want to be able to pull the thread through there. So this is the tricky part right here. Getting the thread between your fingers. It's going to be different for everybody but I learned to just wing it. Like sometimes I start, always start off like this but it never stays like this for some reason. It just doesn't work sometimes. I don't be comfortable with it. So you have your, your um slip knot on a crochet needle and the thread. See I have the thread underneath my two middle fingers. After you get it comfortable, you put the thread behind the head of the needle. You see? Right behind the head of the needle. It has to go around the back side for it to come through. And you hold that knot. Keep your index and your thumb finger on that knot. And you loop it down and pull through the hole. And that's called the chain. That first one is called the chain. So you can loosen up your, your grip on that knot just a little bit so you can move it. And then you grab it again. Once you get um, used to it, you won't find yourself wrapping it completely around the back. You probably do it around the tip of the needle. But you pull it through again. And these are called chains. You may not get it the first time, but just keep practicing and you'll be a pro. Not that I am or anything. See, take me a minute. <laughs> so you keep pulling it through. You grab it again. See, you just grab it at the tip if you can't, if it's easier for you. Instead of wrapping the thread all the way through, around the needle. Pull it through. Pull it through. And you don't want to make them too tight. If you make it too tight, whatever you're making will be really stiff. So you loosen it. Like, you just like, give it some room so you can pull the head of the needle through. You don't want to give it too much room either because then when you're turning it around to make the second chain, there'll be big sloppy loops. You don't want that either. So it got to be just right. And I'll stop and show you this chain so you can see it. See? And that's that slip knot right here. This with with um I'm twisting the um that's still the slip knot. It's it just is it loosens as you go. That's why it's called a slip knot. So you grab it, pull it through, and as you move up, you will want to take your hand from the bottom knot and move it to the middle so it won't be like you're you're stressing it, okay? So you put it back in here. And then you move on some more. And after you get into the hang of it, you probably won't hold your um your, your yarn like that. You'll just be winging it. And it'll work for you because you know what you're doing. But you just keep grabbing it. Keep grabbing it. Grab it. Move your hand up as you grab. 
And this thread that you're using, the thread that you're holding with your fingers, is basically you're feeding it into the, you're feeding it to the crochet needle. That's your re your your reason for holding it so you can have control over it. So sometimes your needle will slip out the hole. Just put it back in. You didn't lose your spot or anything. So so you make like you make enough chains. You think. These chains right here, the length of it is going to be the bottom of the scarf, the bottom part of your scarf. So, right here, I'm going to do a few more and then I'm going to end it. That's how long the, the bottom part of the scarf will be and the top part of the scarf or well, the ends that's going to be hanging. So, do a few more and then I'll show you how to to start the second row which is really easy like I thought it was hard when I first did it so so this is your chain your first chain you can see it looks just like a yarn chain so okay so this is your second so this is your last the last chain on your first row your second row you keep the crochet needle in the slip knot right here you keep it in there right here and you take, let me bring this a little closer. You turn it around this way because you're going to be putting a crochet needle in the top part of the chain. Let me take this out and show you what's the top part of the chain. This is a slip knot here, so let me get that out the way. The top part of the chain is going to be right here. That's the top top part of the chain, but you're not gonna when you have the um the crochet needle in a slip knot you're gonna you're not gonna feed the yarn through that first one right here because it already have yarn from the slip knot in there. So you move on to the second one, and you always do this. You always do this even when you're on the third, the fourth, the fifth row. You start with this one. This is called the the top of the chain right here. You don't want to feed the yarn through the bottom right here because you feed it through the bottom, it's going to be way off. You feed it through the top of the chain. So put your thread through the um slip knot. Put your um crochet needle, excuse me, my sh crochet needle through the slip knot, and right here. I'm sorry, I'm off the camera. And you feed it through the first chain I showed you. You know, you can watch this um, video back if you didn't get it the first time. But you feed it through the first chain. And this is starting the second row. So you feed it through the first chain and you wrap the thread around like you was doing the first time on the first row. You wrap it around and you pull it through the first, the first loop. And you pull it through the second one that's up there. So when you start all over again, you're just going to have one knot up there. So you take it and you put it into the one into the um the next let me show you. See, I put it in that first one. The the second one I told you because the first one was full. So you take it and you put it into the next top loop. Only the first the, the top one, because you put it through the bottom, you're gonna have it all off. And you pull it through again. Let me show you how I'm doing it. You see? You have you're gonna always have three threads when you before you pull it through. And when you pull it through, you're only gonna have one in the end. So you pull it through, one, and then you pull it through two. And then again, you have you, you have one thread left on the, the crochet needle. So you take it and you put it in that third chain. Well it's gonna be the fourth one because the first one we didn't use, remember? So you have three up there. Before you pull it through, when you pull it through, you pull in, you pull through the first one, and then you pull through the second one. And I have to grab it with my nail because I'm not that, <laughs> I'm not that good yet. So you take it in and you put it through the fifth chain, the top part of it, not the bottom part. Remember that, and then you wrap it around the bottom. And I'm gonna show you what it's looking like once we get to like the um the maybe the seventh chain. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work this a little bit real quick so I can show you. Once you get the hang of it, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, like this was so easy. Okay. 
I'm about to show you real quick, so be patient with me. And then I'm going to um, show you how to do the third row. It's important how to show you how to do the third row because after the third row, the fourth, fifth, and sixth row is going to be just the same as the third row. So there's not going to be any changes. And, you know, you keep doing it until your scarf or your blanket, whatever you're trying to make, is, it's done. And this is just the, base, the basics I'm showing you. You can't really do much of anything else but a scarf or a blanket with it unless you make an infinity scarf. You probably could work that out somehow. I don't know how to do that yet. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. And I have this different um, multicolor blue thread going on. And this is what it's looking like so far. If it looks like this, then you're doing it right. If it looks like, if it doesn't look like this, then you could just pull on the, the um, thread that's connected to the yarn. And 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 it unravels. It all unravels, and you can start all over again. It's not like, you know, the end of the world if you mess up. See, and you have this like pretty chain, and this is just two rows right here. And okay, I'm gonna finish up this row, and I'm gonna show you how to start the third row.